Hey there, everyone. Avra here with EdTech Teacher. So let's continue on our journey of the Google Educator Level 1 task cards. And in this one, we're going to take a look at a function that is really, really useful. We're going to locate and open a file in the Shared With Me section. And we're going to add a shortcut to our own drive to be able to organize it and get it into the folder that we want. So let's take a look at this. Let's head over to our drive. And here at our drive, we've got all of the files that we've created. But if we have colleagues or students who share files with us, if we come over to the Shared With Me section over here on the left-hand side, we will click on this and be taken to kind of a mess. Sometimes, if you've had your Google Drive for a while, this becomes so inundated with files. It's almost an abyss of sorts. So what Google has done for us in recent years is created a function called create a shortcut or add a shortcut to your drive. So let's scroll down and find a student essay. Let's say we had an essay written by our student Allie here and we'd like this to go into a folder where we can find it more easily. Maybe she's just shared it with us. Now I want you to know that this works with files or with folders. So let's take a look at this file. What we can do is simply right click on this file and we can choose where it says add shortcut to drive. Now, what this is doing is not actually making a duplicate copy of this file or anything like that. It's also not moving the file. It's just creating a little shortcut to it. So, if I click right here on this arrow, it takes me into my drive, and now I can even go in further and choose a specific folder that I'd like it to go into. So I'll go into my classroom, and then maybe I'll go here to this fifth period ELA student essays. And now I'm in this folder, as is denoted right here by these words, and I'm going to choose Add Shortcut. Now, let's go over to our drive and go see what we've created. Clicking on My Drive, then heading over to My Classroom over here on the right, double-clicking, and then we'll double-click on this fifth period folder. Now, if you notice, a cop not a copy of the actual file but a shortcut to the file is here and you can tell that it's a shortcut because the icon looks slightly different it's got the google docs icon right here but it's also got this little arrow here and what that does is that indicates that this is not actually the the file itself it's actually just a shortcut to it but now, if our Shared With Me is very, very robust and full of all of these different files, we don't have to go digging through to find it. We can simply find it wherever we would like it to be stored in our Google Drive. So that's how we do the two tasks that are here on this task card.